Here, we are going to briefly look at an important functional entity, which is the home gateway control and configuration functional entity. We are just going to look at its role and its operation. Let's look at the transport stratum once again. Here you see that within the network attachment and control functions, on the left top, we have the home gateway control functional entity. This essentially is directly related to the customer premises equipment that could also include the home gateway or the uh, user equipment or both the home gateway and the user equipment. So it means that the home gateway configuration and control functional entity is directly responsible to interact, control and manage the home gateway. So as briefly said, the home gateway control and configuration functional entity controls and manages the home gateways which are placed at the customer premises. So it is essentially deployed at the user premises because the user premises have the gateway. The gateway has to be managed by the network side. So the network side element or the functional entity which is doing the control coordination and configuration function is the home gateway configuration entity. It is used to initialize the device that is bootstrapping with a certain IP address, with certain DNS records, the names of certain servers, the default gateway. And in case there's a change, that information needs to be updated. Then the configuration information, which is required for the user equipment and the home gateway to operate, such as what are going to be the quality of service settings. In case some kind of QoS mechanism is implemented, then what is the packet filtering and marking criterion? All these can be implemented as the configuration information. Now this configuration information is provided by the home gateway configuration functional entity to the home gateway. This is what is the information that is communicated from the network side to the home gateway side. Vice versa, the home gateway configuration functional entity is also responsible to notify if there is some kind of change in the number of devices, in the types of devices. For instance, if there is a mobile terminal, a laptop or a desktop, it is attached to it. If there are some sensors which are being hooked up. If there is a TV set like an IP TV which is connected. So this information is, is updated from the user equipment or user premises side to the network side. And on the network side, this home gateway configuration functional entity interacts with other modules. Of them, we have the transport location management functional entity. And it is interacting with the transport location management to obtain information about what access network technology and access network mechanism is being used. For instance, is it serial or is it, uh, let's say, um, some kind of contention based mechanism? Is it wired or wireless? So it means that on the network side, within the transport stratum network side, the home gateway configuration uh, functional entity is also interacting with the transport location management. 